Hello, hello, hello. So this was going to be, this video was the next, the next, the next episode in the Let's Make a Studio series where we continue to work on this room, but uh, today I came downstairs and I discovered that the basement has flooded. Um, and it's flooded in here. We had a whole bunch of standing water. Um, it's, it's worse outside of here, but it's not looking good. So uh, what I was planning to do uh, was update, release a video about how frustrating it is that these bats are sold in non-standard sizes and the, uh, the spacing, or they're stand, sold in standard sizes, but the joists are spaced 19.2 apart from each other. And so we're having to put these bats in sideways and get some mineral wool up there so we get some additional insulation and blah, 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 blah. But <laughs> and I've been, have a whole pile of insulation that I've been uh, gonna put up. But unfortunately, yeah, uh, we, we flooded. So <laughs> you can see, uh, I, have, I had all these ceiling tiles down. You can see this is how far it managed to seep up over here. Um, and of course, it's not just in this room. It's kind of throughout our entire basement. It seems to come in um, kind of along or underneath the baseboards in a whole bunch of different spots. So over there by the electrical box, and over there in that corner. And you can already tell um, bits of the floor. I don't know if it's going to show up too well. Yeah, you can see here. You can see just the, the discoloration here. That's because this is already starting to push up. What's happening is that the water has, uh, I think it's mostly not gone through the floor as it has come under the floor from the wall and saturated into these boards. So, of course, this is a laminate and laminate. When it gets wet, it expands and it doesn't contract. Uh, so, <laughs> The news here is that having finally put on the the, uh, the base trim and stained it all uh, for the second time, having the floor down entirely, um, we're we're just going to have to pull it up uh, and just go with uh, go with it, get get back to just just plain concrete. So. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we had a bunch of videos getting this place ready. I mean, the paint, I guess, can still stay. Well, actually, I don't even know about that. Um, I have been spending almost all of today uh, getting getting water out of the basement, um, going up shortly after this to check all of the gutters and make sure that we don't have clogs there um, and put on some gutter extensions and stuff just to make sure if it does rain anymore that we don't <laughs> cause any further damage. Um, and then we'll have to get some professionals kind of in throughout the whole basement, have them poke around and see. Um, they may need to tear drywall off. We may need to take down it. We've got some stuff that's seeping uh, through walls. So it's going underneath slash through the uh, base plates of the, the wall frames, which I'm guessing is not great. Um, I mean, wood rot, right? Wood, wood will rot and you don't want that as the base of your wall. So we may need to tear down <laughs> most of the entire basement, which yeah, it's not, it's not the best. Um, so, so that's what I'm going to be dealing with for a while. Um, it is likely that this is going to be an expensive process uh, to figure out. Because uh, <laughs> I just, I don't know. The, the big reason uh, for getting the floor up is not so much just the floor. It's the fact that underneath the floor is the underlayment. And if the underlayment is saturated, that is a spawning place for mold and mildew. And I can't tolerate that. Family can't tolerate that. We can't, we just can't live in a moldy mildewy place. We gotta, we gotta fix it. So I'm gonna be spending probably this evening tearing up this uh, lovely, uh, lovely laminate floor and uh, lesson learned. So if, if you have any advice or uh, can share some similar stories, uh, I, would, I would definitely love to <laughs> Definitely love to feel like I'm in good company right now. That's going to do it for me, and I'll speak with you again soon. Cheers.